This is Kevin Cole at the University of Nebraska. The topic is thermodynamics, and the example is polytropic compression of an ideal gas. In this example, we're given CO2 in a cylinder compressed by a piston. So here's the cylinder, here's the trapped gas, and the piston starts at state one and moves to state two, compressing the gas. We're told that initially the pressure is one bar and the temperature is 27 C and the final condition is five bar. So on a PV curve, state one is this larger volume, state two is a smaller volume and a higher pressure. Uh, we're told the process is polytropic with N equals 1.288. Uh, what exactly does that mean? Polytropic means that pressure times volume to the power N is a constant. All right, we're asked to find the work, and we're asked to find the heat transfer. Uh, the usual way to find the work would be an integral of the pressure over the volume. And in this case, if we took this relationship and solved for pressure, we could work the integral of the, a constant divided by volume to the power n over the volume. And that's fine, but that's the hard way. <clears throat> We're going to use a relationship for uh, ideal gas where the work is given as mass times the gas constant times the temperature change for the process divided by 1 minus n where n is the uh, polytropic relationship and this is again specific to a closed system plus polytropic. Be careful there's other relationships out there for uh, an open system. Now we can work this if we can get the temperature we're going to use a relationship for the temperature that comes from here. If it's polytropic, we could write P1 V1 to the N is a constant. Well, that constant could be P2 V2 to the N. If we combine that with the gas law, where the volume is MRT divided by P, then you can show that this relationship is true, or you could find this directly in standard texts, T2 is T1 times the ratio of pressure P2 over P1 raised to a power N minus 1 divided by N. All that is in the exponent. All right, we're going to use this. So then T2 is going to be uh, 27C, and I've got to add 273 to make it absolute. Anytime you use the gas law, or a relationship is built on the gas law, You've got to use absolute temperature. My pressure ratio is 5 bar divided by 1 bar, and my power is going to be 1.288 minus 1 divided by 1.288. And if I crunch all of that, I get my final temperature to be 429.9 Kelvin. All right, and then we can use this uh, work relationship to get the work from 1 to 2. It's going to be the mass, we're told it's 0.1 kilograms. The uh, specific gas constant is the universal gas constant, 8.314, divided by the molecular weight of carbon dioxide, which is 44.01. Then our temperatures, 429.9 is T2, T1 is 300 kelvins. That's, again, absolute 27 plus uh, 273. And all of that divided by... 1 minus 1.288. When I crunch that, I get uh, minus 8.52 kilojoules. And that makes sense because it's work into the system. We're pushing on this piston and we're crushing the volume to smaller. All right, that takes care of the work. How do we find the heat transfer? Uh, part B, uh, closed system, the energy balance is a change in internal energy equals the heat minus the work. So we could solve for the heat, which would be the change in internal energy plus the work. If we've got the work, if we could find the internal energy, we've got it. All right, there's two ways to get the internal energy for this problem. One is we could use constant specific heat theory and uh, this is essentially uh, working the integral, assuming CV is constant, 
delta U is M times CV for the process. I'm going to take an average times the temperature change. Let's work on that one first. Uh, we need uh, CV average. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to take CV at the final temperature, 429.9. And I'm going to add CV at the initial temperature of uh, 300. And I'm going to divide by 2. Take an average of the temperature of the CVs at the temperatures that I know. And we need a table. <coughs> we need a specific heat table. Let's go find one. Here we are. Ideal gas specific heats of some common gases. Here's air. And down here is carbon dioxide. And they're listed versus temperature. And we need uh, 300, so there's a value there. And the one we need is not CP, but we need CV. I hope that uh, is clear enough for you to see. At 300, the specific heat is 0.657, and the units are kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. You must carefully read the caption to figure out what units you've got. And the other one we need is uh, about 430. I've got 400 and 450, so we're going to have to interpolate between these values. <clears throat> so I'm going to interpolate here. I'm going to pull this value 0.657 directly. Let's go back to the other document. Let's put in some numbers. At uh, 430, I interpolated to get uh, 0 0.774. At 300, it was 0.657 from that table, divided by 2. And uh, the number I get is points, uh, 0 0.7155. And again, the units are kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. And then I can find delta U from here. Scroll up a little bit. Uh, it looks kind of weird. What's going on? That's better. Delta U is going to be uh, 0 0.1 kilogram times my CV average value, 0 0.7155 times my temperature change, which is uh, 429.9 minus 300. And when I crunch that, I get uh, 9.294 kilojoules. That's the uh, change in internal energy. And then finally, my uh, heat is going to be delta U plus W. My delta U is this value I just got, 9.294. My uh, work is minus 8.52, and so the difference here is 0 0.7743 kilojoules. That's a plus. That would be heat into the gas. All right. Um, that was one way. The other way is delta U from the gas tables. This one's more precise. Ideal gas table. Oops. Ideal gas table. All right. Um, the tables give U bar in kilojoules per kilogram mole. So we're going to have to convert. Our conversion is that uh, delta U that we're looking for is M times delta U bar divided by the molecular weight. So that's what we have to do. So we're going to first find delta U bar from the table to be the uh, U bar value at the end point, T2, which is 430, I'm going to round it off, minus U bar at the beginning point, 300K. And again, from the table. Which table? Let's go find one. Here we are, ideal gas properties of carbon dioxide. And I've got temperature, and I've got enthalpy, and I've got internal energy. That's the one we're interested in. And temperature goes down this way. We need 300, which is right there. So the internal energy value is going to be 6939. And we need 430, so we're happy day, we're in luck. And we're going to pull a value out, 11053. And the units are in kilojoules per kilomole. It's U bar. Let's transfer those numbers across. So we're going to say that delta U bar 
is uh, the value at 430, which was 11053. Value at 300 was 6939. And that's 4114 in kilojoules per kilomole. Then uh, delta U from here is going to be 0 0.1 kilograms times this value I just computed, 4114 kilojoules per kilomole, divided by, scroll up a little bit, scrolling working all right today? All right. Uh, divided by the molecular weight of 44.01 for uh, carbon dioxide, which is it's the units are kilojoules per kilomole. Kilomoles go out, uh, kilograms go out, leaving me kilojoules. So delta U for this uh, calculation is 9.348. That's different than before. And then finally, the heat is going to be delta U plus W which is this delta U, 9.348 plus, and my work was uh, minus 8.52. When I compute that, I get 0 0.828 kilojoules. Okay, this is different than before. The heat for part little i was 0.77, and the heat for uh, 2i was 0.828 from the tables, Again, this is heat into the gas. This is more precise. There's a difference. The gas tables are a little better. The rule of thumb is for delta T uh, greater than 100 or so, use the ideal gas tables rather than the constant specific heat approximation. Let's recap. In this problem, we're studying uh, polytropic compression. And polytropic is a word that means that PV to the power n is a constant. We can use that fact to develop some relationships based on ideal gas. And if you use ideal gas relationships or anything built from it, you must use absolute temperature. So convert to Kelvin, and you'll be safe. Uh, we did an energy balance here on a closed system to look for the, for the uh, heat. And we found that there were two ways to do, or we discussed two ways to do the uh, specific heat. One was an approximation based on CV equals constant, and that gave a value. Uh, we found that the gas tables give a different number, and I want you to use the gas tables if the temperature change is large. And if you do that, all will be well.